you probably clicked on this video because you don't know what the hell this game is. Well, that's what I'm here for. Roll it. What's up, people? It's Mufasa Uncaged here, and over the holiday season, one of the games I got to play was Evil West. So I'm here to tell you about it. Let's get into it. Evil West takes time in the 1800s and takes a different look on how the American West was. The main story is about you being a cowboy named Jesse who happens to be part of a monster hunting organization that specializes in taking down these mythological creatures like vampires, werewolves, big ass bats with coronavirus, and other creatures I don't even know how to name. The conflict of this game is you trying to stop this little evil vampire girl from starting a vampire uprising before it hits all over the US. That's all much I can say about this story, so let's get into the gameplay. The gameplay for this game can be fun, and this isn't an open world game. It's linear and mission based. If you played games like Devil May Cry or any of the new God of Wars, then you know what you're kind of getting into with combat. You can throw hands with enemies and finish them off with executions. So expect getting tired of seeing these same executions on enemies. You start off with a gauntlet, pistol, and a repeater, but later you obtain other weapons such as the shotgun, flamethrower, dynamite, and a chain gun. Your weapons have a cooldown, so after using them, don't worry about ammo because you have unlimited ammo. You also have energy bars you have to fill up so you'll be able to pull off some more moves with your gauntlet. You build energy by doing melee attacks and combos. You can also pull enemies or zap right to them with gauntlet. There are two ways for you to upgrade your arsenal in here. You have money you can find and perk points you get from leveling up. The upgrades for these weapons are also cool as fuck. But by the time I beat the game, I didn't have all the upgrades. There are some upgrades you will have to find throughout the maps. So look thoroughly because you won't be able to go back and get them. This game may look easy, but there are parts where enemies can't overwhelm you in numbers. There are times where I was overwhelmed by three mini bosses at the same damn time. I'm fighting for my life. Y'all killing me with this. The game is also co-op, but I didn't get a chance to play since I had nobody else to play with. Now, if I had feedback for the developers, it would be that I wish they did more with the co-op. I think they could have did more with it besides you and a friend playing the story over and over again that can be repetitive and get boring and still over time. I found that me not being able to go back on certain parts was kind of stupid because seeing myself hop over a barrier that I can hop over and then not being able to go back was just like poor design. Just like, I don't know, that shit was just stupid to me. If it's one thing I did not like in this game was when it was a whole bunch of fire on the screen and it made everything just so red. Like while looking at it, it hurt my eyes. I even adjusted my settings to a certain brightness and I feel like it was still too much red filter on the screen. So I will tell developers, please tone it down on the red filter or whatever the hell that is. Cause God damn. I've been hearing people say this game is mid. When people usually say that term, it usually means trash and people just dismiss the game and just automatically doesn't want to give it a try. We have got to start saying some games just aren't for us. I feel like Evil West wasn't trying to be anything special or even a 10 out of 10 game. It was just a fun game that gave cool combat along with a co-op experience. This is one of those games I played and I felt satisfied with the outcome. But I know what you're asking. Is it worth it? Well, surprisingly, it wasn't a full $70 when it dropped. Its original price is $60, so I leave it up to you guys. If you played Evil West, let me know in the comments how you feel about it. And if you stay to the end of this video, I would like to say thank you for tuning in. And I'll appreciate if you hit the like button. If you want to check out more of my content, you can check out the channel and subscribe to it. This has been another review from your boy Mufasa and Cage Dan. I'm out.